Sega. Tokyo, the daily grind, the heavy hum of an overpopulated metropolis overburdened with work and worthlessness. You pass the same old streets in a rundown bus on the same old seat. Take a trip down the grocery store for milk and eggs, through the same familiar square and across the same roads. Head home, shower, read something, take a smoke, make a call, and then it's time to hit town. Downtown to Camarocho, to your favorite bar, to be precise. You'll enjoy several sakis, some beer, sushi, gently washed down with a dirty dance from your hostess, and if the mood's right, a spot of karaoke, or some other fantasy you've got in mind. Then it's probably about time you got on with a job in hand. So it's out the back, up the fire escape, and onto the roof where your working day begins. Go something like kick, smash, crack, punch, smack, bang, slap, whatever. You do what it takes to get the job done, playing by the rules, but knowing when to break them. And for some, they'll do bigger challenges, like the small complication of escaping prison. Naturally, this would involve throwing some heavy objects around, kicking the crap out of a few guards, and showing the inmates what can be done if you put your mind to it. It has a certain poetic quality about it, don't you think? It's all good, clean fun. Because in the Yakuza, you're taught to take pride and enjoy your work, value your teammates, and most of all, respect the boss. If every man lived his life this way, I guarantee the world would be a better place to live. Yakuza 4. Become a somebody in a world of nobodies.